Hello chess enthusiasts, I hope you're all doing well, today, I took on a unique challenge from 8 Grandmaster, these 8 Grandmasters, including Magnus, Hikaru, and Arnish Jiri, are actually chess bots, however it's fascinating because they collectively think more deeply, analyze the best moves and play together as one against me, the video is special because their combined ELO rating is an impressive 22,400, let's dive into the action, I started the game with knight f3 and the 8 grandmasters. Played an insane move, f5, they are saying that they have combined 22k ELO points and they can defeat me in this Dutch defense, oh seriously, let's come together, they bring out their knight on f6, and they could go with bishop b4 check or b6, but they decided to play a move which is not so popular, bishop g5 h6, moving back the bishop on f4 will meet up with g5, black will get big space to set up his satellites for 6g connectivity, so I captured the knight, they captured back and I played e4. Ian and Wesley are a bit impatient, they are likely to capture the pawn but that move will meet up with the knight, if the queen moves out of the way, white will simply play bishop d3, threatening knight d6 check to discover attack to the queen, some of you might think of capturing the pawn but after rook g1, queen has to stay in his limits, and look at the queen, she will be completely trapped, even queen h5 doesn't work as I can sacrifice my knight on f6. And play bishop g6 check which move wins up the queen in the next move, of course that didn't happen in our game because they are 8 grandmasters and I am only 1. The results you want to see tomorrow will be based on the efforts you put in today, alright, Magnus Hikaru Fabiano Arnish and Ding are like to play bishop e7, in a sudden move. I declared that I want my king to settle on the queen side, my idea is very simple, by playing queenside castling I shifted my energy to attack in black's kingside, I will re-rotate my knight to get the g6 outpost and create valuable resources of attacks, let's see how 8 grandmasters prevent my strategy, they first bring their knight and play g6, rook h6 by me and in this fairly closed center I wanna play rook g3, the h6 pawn is a weakness for them, also, you cannot go for immediate pawn breaks. If you do so, then after takes the d6 pawn will fall, you know, one wise person is better than eight fool people, they played castle because they are playing chess more than 30 years and I was just born in 2006, I am the youngest person among them, some of you might think of capturing the pawn but knight a4 will attack it, takes takes, remove black's defensive pieces and play involve your queen in the party, bring your rook on b3 as well, bishop c4 rook c3 bishop runs and we can play the sneaky move, knight b5. What a brilliant move, how can you stop this and this, even if you capture the knight it will be a checkmate in two moves. The world will comes to know that even the grandmasters play insane game with each other, Magnus vs Hikaru or Magnus vs Ding, they are all together like a kid in front of stockfish, that will be a super disrespect to super grandmasters that they played with more accuracy, I mean, I need to protect my position as well because I am gonna trade off the bishop, knight a4 by me and any normal kind of move will lose the game completely for black, for example, Hikaru want to play bishop g5. Try to get my queen, here comes the pawn, that is just a waste of move and I will get the b-file for my dangerous rook, rook to b6 and look at the king's health, it is completely dead lost situation for him, you know. If you live for people's acceptance you will die from their rejection, so in this position, they took much time to calculate this position and played king c7, ok king b1 rook b8 and yeah, they secured their king side very well now I need to fight right side of the board, queen h5 knight d3, preparing knight f4, and believe me or not, here best move for black is to play f4, sacrificing the pawn away to give me a check. I will play queen d3 which is the best move actually and we will see them in the end game, even they are bots, their CPU is likely to play human brain, they didn't find the best move, I don't think any human on this earth can think of playing f4, 200 elo rated player might think of playing f4 accidentally but that's the another thing, king b7 by then and I puck them together with e5, do you know the idea, after you capture, knight f4 will follow, queen runs takes takes rook goes to b3. Attacking to the pawn, king slides rook c1, queen d4 is coming to join attack on the pawn, bishop protects knight d3 and your position is just brusted, nowhere to run you king, simply watch your death coming while lying on your bed. You were uniquely made to be exactly who you are, 
Always remember that there can never be another you, so here, they think themselves as unique and captured the pawn on this way, rook g7 hitting to the bishop, if you move your bishop to anywhere I will take the d7 pawn, knight blocks knight captured captured and it's a check, king c8 is obvious move, but here I will shock them by sacrificing the rook, take queen arrives. If you block the check with your rook then it will simply face queen a7 and your rook will be gone, so after king c8 queen check king d8, now it's another time to sacrifice the second rook and high up their blood pressure, queen d6 followed by king e8 knight e6, and queen g7 checkmate. Game over. Money is numbers and numbers never end, if it takes money to be happy, your search for happiness will never end, so in this position, 8 grand masters decided to stick with rook d8, you can have my bishop, no thanks, I watch your king not your bishop, a takes b6 followed by g4 queen e8 to protect the bishop, and after a few moves we have queen e3 to target at your pawn, they tried to defend it but here comes rook g6. This is a nasty move, they tried to advance their pawns, maybe they want to promote their pawn into queen, but I am stockfish, even 100 grandmasters play against me, I can defeat them all, ok, here I showed my brilliance by sacrificing my knight, this knight can be captured by three different ways, first if you take it with the pawn then queen a6 will completely change the game, I will win very soon, and if you dare to capture the knight with knight, well do exchanges, I will sacrifice my rook. Captured queen a5 check, king moves back rook a6, this is coming after a few moves later, we will play rook a8 queen takes check, king e7 will meet up with the pawn, so king c7 queen c4, it is completely over for you, you have to block the check with the queen then after take take take, not only I have two connected pass pawns, I have disconnected the king from jumping the d-file. Don't sit around waiting for the perfect moment to happen, take this moment and make it perfect, so in this position, they decided to capture the knight with bishop, takes 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 and I sacrificed my rook again, because it will result in the same condition which we discussed earlier, queen f8 rook a5, the same tactical net, king runs rook f6, and here all of the grandmasters are fallen, some of them considering to save the queen but after rook b5 queen c7 queen c1. Even you exchange the queens you are gonna lose that pawn, as these pawns as well, I have two pass pawns and this end game is completely winning for me, so Magnus here resigned the game, but other grandmasters decided to capture the rook, the seven grandmasters still playing the game, Magnus left from the chat and blocked Stockfish, deleted chess.com app and tweeted on Twitter, switch off his phone and went for a walk, ha 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 ha, this was a very 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 amazing and great game between eight grandmasters. Of course eight grandmasters bot versus me, if you enjoyed this content then comment me to let me know, if you want more series about this then comment, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.